the Greek National Tourism Organization, the GNTO, took its first hesitant steps in 1929 and left its indelible mark on the history of modern Greece. Initially, the GNTO distributed black and white posters and photos of old Athens to the few tourists. This primordial advertising campaign bore fruit a few years later, in 1937, with 160,000 foreign visitors arriving in Greece, an impressive number at the time. It was also the year that the GNTO was dissolved, only to be reestablished in 1951. In 1951, the GNTO undertook the Herculean task of changing the image of Greece abroad, a country which had been destroyed by the war. It printed advertising brochures, calendars, posters, and travel books. The GNTO's posters were designed by acclaimed artists. It also started participating in dozens of international tourism exhibitions with cleverly designed campaigns. From 1952 to 1962, it leased the ship Semiramis and organized cruises in the Aegean Sea. Each year, it carried hundreds of visitors to the Greek islands, tourist destinations which would later become world-renowned. Isolated from the outside world for centuries, slowly began to make a name for themselves. Greece was coming into fashion. Foreign journalists were invited to the country, and advertising spots were produced with breathtaking scenery from various parts of Greece. The country, with its untouched beauty, was an irresistible attraction in itself. GNTO placed Greece among the top 10 tourist destinations worldwide. At the same time, the GNTO strived to make visitors feel welcome, creating modern tourist facilities, setting the pace and paving the way for private initiatives. It erected hotels, guest houses, and motels in every corner of the country. The hotels were named Xenia. It operated organized beaches close to urban centers in Athens and Thessaloniki. It developed camping sites to serve motor tourism. It created a modern network of marinas and ports, which have secured a prominent place for Greece in the area of marine tourism. The GNTO constructed the first two golf courses in Athens and Rhodes. It catered to mountain tourism by constructing and operating the Parnassos Ski Center and mapping many kilometers of mountain trails in accordance with international signage standards. It revealed caves hidden deep inside the Greek land, which constitute unique, rare, and extensive natural museums. The GNTO showcased historical spa towns. It converted traditional cottages into guest houses. It dotted the tourism map with beautiful historical settlements. The towers of Vathya in Mani, Papingo in Zagorohoria, Ia on Santorini, and Vizitsa on Mount Pelion. It revamped archaeological sites. It illuminated historical monuments. The GNTO, as a pioneer in its field, realized early on that culture and tourism are two inextricably interwoven concepts. In 1954, established the Epidaurus Festival, which has been a major pole of attraction until today. During the first festival, the GNTO used boats to transport the crowds to Epidaurus. In 1955, it established the Athens Festival. Since then, many prominent artists have appeared on stage at the ancient theater of Epidaurus and the Odeon of Herodes Atticus in Athens. In 1965, it hosted the Panathenia of International Sculpture, an exhibition featuring dozens of works of art by the most famous artists. The GNTO put to good use Greece's most enchanting ambassador abroad, the films. It started hosting international film productions as early as the 1950s, bringing the natural beauty of Greece to every corner of the globe. 
Film stars Sophia Loren, Melina Mercuri, Roger Moore, Nicolas Cage, Angelina Jolie, and Meryl Streep have left their imprint on Idra, Pires, Rhodes, Meteora, Kefalonia, Santorini, and Schiathos, while the big blue of Amorgos has captivated audiences the world over. From the first historic poster, featuring a photograph of the Acropolis taken by Nellies in 1929, to the era of Twitter. From the 30,000 tourists of 1950 to the 16 million of today, the Greek National Tourism Organization has never stopped thinking globally and acting nationally. It promotes Greece worldwide, combining its natural beauty, culture, and the warm hospitality of its people. The Greek National Tourism Organization offers Greece the recognition it deserves. <laughs>